Hi, YouTube. This is Suki Girl. Um, yesterday, I told you that the husband was out here working on a rabbit hutch. Um, so, we watched some videos from the new survivalist and Southern Prepper 1 and decided that rabbit was a really good way to go. I live in um, a city limits, so let me just pan around here really so I hope I won't make anybody sick by panning too quickly. Um, as you can see out there past the other greenhouse, that's a hard work store way over there. Um, anyway, so we can't have chickens for some reason. I don't know why, but the city council hasn't passed that ordinance yet. So right now we're going to do something that they can't complain about. Um, so basically this is it. Uh, the husband got the windows from this rabbit hutch off of Craigslist for free. We just had to haul them off. Um, this used to be a gardening shed. And he's put in a relight over here so the bunnies, you know, can have some light. Um, how how big would you say it is, Randy? Rabbit hutch? Yeah. Oh, we'll just tell you really quick. I don't know. If you can estimate, I mean... The rabbit hutch is about seven feet by eight feet. Okay, so basically, and then he's going to... Seven paint, feet by nine seven, and a half. Seven by nine and a half. Okay. So then... Um, he bought the long boards there and, and um, the two, what are those, two by fours? Two by threes. Two by threes. Um, for the frame, he is a German carpenter, which makes it really cool for me. But um, anyway, so we got, that's what he paid for. Now the paint that he is going to paint it, we got it for free from the recycling place that recycles paint. Um, we went on Craigslist yesterday and got, um, sorry, baby, got a... Uh, cages on there. This lady was getting rid of her rabbit cages. And we got all the whole cages for all the whole setup for um, 80 bucks, I think is what we paid. Um, and it, it's a big enough to house a bunch of rabbits. And um, so that's what we're going to do. And as it comes along, I'll show you as when it's finished here, as soon as he gets done with it, it'll be a couple of days from now. Um, also, while I've got you out back of my house, like I said yesterday, I live in a 100-year-old home. I am in within, within city limits. This is my garden area, and it's relatively small. And since I started canning, I decided to go full bore. And um, so I planted, like, so many seeds that are, like, they're, so, they're, they're germinating right now. But for tomato plants, I think I planted 54 or something. But I'm going to show you what we're going to do. The addition to our house, this is the back of our house. That house is 100 years old. It used to be a Victorian, and now it's, they've changed it. But anyway, this flat roof is our garage. This is an addition to um, our house that was built a few years ago. And um, anyway, the, what are they, honey, Joyce's? It's got 12 inch. What are what? Trusses. Twelve inch trusses, every how many feet? Two foot. Every two feet, and they're two by twelve. Yeah. So this roof is extremely, extremely strong. So what I do is the same buckets that I get for a buck at Clayton Ward um, recycling. Um, we're going to put buckets up there and have massive tomato plants. The white roof is going to reflect the light up underneath the plant and give it light all the way around. It's away from the deer, because we have mouse problems with deer, and um, little buggers. They're gonna end up on our plate if they aren't careful this year. Um, and um, away from the slugs, um, it gets full sunshine, as you can see. So we're gonna take advantage and utilize our roof space, because, like I said, we're urban. This can be done, you know, if you live in an urban environment, you're in L.A., you're in Portland, Oregon, you're in Houston, Texas, wherever you're at, find a way to go ahead and utilize the space that you have. Make sure that it's safe, of course. Um, he's going to run um, drip lines, basically, for a watering system. And um, just kind of get this all going here. We've got greenhouses. We've got sheds. We've got a basement. We've got garden area. We've got, we have got, say hi, honey. Hello. We've got bunny cage. Yay, like custom condo bunny cage. But anyway, we'll kind of bring you up to date as we go along. Have a great day. Thanks, YouTube. Bye.